happy people i'm back with another video and welcome back to week three of the spotlight collab challenge this week our theme is alice and wonderland um, and the lovely ladies who chose this design is nessa from nail art by nessa she slays her nail art with stamping she works magic with those stamping plates every single time and it's super cool to watch Next we have Mama from Mama Does Nails. She is the definition of thinking outside of the box. Her designs are super unique and her creations are something that cannot be replicated. And next we have me. You all already know me and my work, so I just wanna say that I feel blessed that I was paired with some really awesome ladies and they were a joy to work with. So definitely go and check them out, show them some love, show them some support. I'm gonna leave their Instagram and YouTube link down in the description box below. So I'm gonna be using a lot of products in this particular set. So first I have Never Say Never from Nail Addict, Pivot from Madam Glam, Hardcore from Madam Glam, this white gel liner brush from Bellavina Devil Dub. And then I'm gonna be using this regular polish. It's from LA Colors. It's actually available from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna be using that for my stamping polish. Um, that's And that's the stamping plate that I'll be using. Um, Nessa, I hope I make you proud. I'm also gonna be going in with Pink Panther from Nail Addict. Attic, um, this purple from Beatles, this black and this pink from Beatles, as well as this beautiful gel polish color from Born Pretty. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I'll be going in with these Missing Control paints from Young Nails and Mega Jam, Fizz and Overdrive. These are some other random gel polishes I'll have on standby for potential mixing purposes. I'm also going to be using a variety of different brushes and nail art tools. And then y'all, I got a new mixing plate. So exciting. So yeah, y'all, let's get into this set. I'm gonna go in with the Stiletto Full Cover Tips. And first I'm going to go in and apply base coat to all of the nails. I like to apply base coat to the nails so that I don't have to um, go in and buff the surface of the nail. And that's just gonna allow for the gel polish to adhere to the Full Cover Tip. So here you see me mixing three colors together to make a custom color that I want to use for my pinky nail. I went in with Pink Panther, Never Say Never from Nail Addict, as well as Mega Jam from Young Nails and that pink color from Beatles, um, just to get the color that's perfect for the pinky nail. And this is what I came up with. It was the exact color I was looking for. So I applied two coats of that custom color to the pinky nail. After I finish the pinky nail, I do go into the index finger and apply one coat of this black from Beatles. And then I decided to go into the thumbnail and apply two coats of the black. And after I finished that, I went in with the ring finger and applied one coat. This is what the nails are looking like so far. Next, I'm gonna go in with Mega Jam from Young Nails with the middle finger. And I'm gonna apply three coats of that to build up the opacity. So this is what the nails are looking like so far. I decided to go in with the low hanging fruit. Um, I'm planning on drawing lines on this middle finger. So I'm gonna go in with this purple from Beatles and I'm just preparing some of the polish on the plate. I'm getting my detailer brush from Young Nails as well as my micro detailer brush. And I'm gonna be drawing um, just some lines or stripes um, on the nails. And yeah, y'all, so let's talk about this set. So with this set, I feel like I was all over the place, you guys. I had never actually seen Alice in Wonderland before we chose this theme. I know, I know, don't come for me, y'all. <laughs> so I had a bit of homework to do for this set. I took the time to go and watch the original cartoon from the 1950s. And let's just say, y'all, uh, that movie was very interesting and a bit on the weird side, to say the least. And as I was watching the movie, I kept trying to find something that would spark my creativity and give me inspiration, but nothing really jumped out at me. So when I saw the Cheshire Cat, I was like, I got it. So that's what I'll be creating in this set today. And I chose to do the stripes on the middle finger for the body of his cat and um, the stiletto tips to represent his claws. I'm gonna insert a picture here so you all can see what my inspiration was. But yeah, y'all, this is what I'm gonna be drawing. So this is how the middle nail is looking so far. I'm not the biggest fan of it, so um, I might have to redo that later, but I'm gonna move on to my pinky finger. And this is actually my challenge nail, you guys. So with this nail, I'm gonna be going in and 
trying my hand at stamping for the first time. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. Y'all pray for me on this one because I really have no idea what I'm doing. I did decide to go in with top coat um, on the nail before I started stamping just so that if I made a mistake, I could go in with some acetone really quick and clean it up and wouldn't disturb the actual um, gel polish ac application. So here you see me just gathering all the materials I need. I have my paper towel, my jelly stamper, my scraper, and here's my stamping plate. It's a cat themed plate that has paws on it, so those are the paws I'll be using, um, as well as my lint roller. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the plastic here. I don't know why you guys, but this was just so satisfying to watch as the plastic peeled from the stamping plate. Yeah, anywho, um, yeah, this is my first time doing stamping y'all and I'm gonna be going in with a regular nail polish to um, do my stamping. Um, who even has regular nail polishes anymore? Okay, I know I, well, I still have some, but I don't even use them at all. So I thought it would make sense to try and use um, just a regular nail polish um, since I didn't own any stamping polishes. I do have this nail polish from LA Colors. I got this from my local Dollar Tree, you guys. It was a dollar. And that's what I'm gonna be using as my stamping ink or my stamping polish. I'm shaking it up here because it's really old. You guys, I've had this one for a very long time. Um, more more years than what I would like to admit. So, you know, you see the little crusties fall off of it because I haven't opened it in years. But I'm just taking some of the nail polish and applying it to the stamping plate. Um, I'm trying to gauge how much polish I actually need to apply, so I'm just kind of putting it on there any which way. Um, now I'm going to take my scraper and scrape down firmly at an angle. Um, and after I do that, I'm going to pick up my jelly stamper and roll the image onto the stamper. And y'all, it picked up. I was really shocked and really impressed at the fact that it actually picked up and on my first roll so i have a practice nail here y'all don't judge me but i did not want to mess up my custom made uh color nail that i made for my pinky so i'm just going in with a practice nail here just to see how it might transfer um you see on the paw prints there's like little kind of divots but i was very happy with how that transferred very very satisfied so i'm gonna give it another go here I'm just showing where the other image that I forgot to kind of roll off with the lint roller transferred onto the nail too. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with a second attempt here. So I'm going in with my lint roller to clean off any of the remaining images off of the jelly stamper. Then I'm going in with some 100% acetone to clean off the stamping plate. Now that the plate is all clean, I go in with some more nail polish. This time I apply like more like a glob um, a pretty sufficient amount onto the stamping plate um, to avoid those divots that happened last time. And I do one scrape down at an angle. I go in with the jelly stamper, roll it on top of the image, pick it up. And y'all, it's a clean pickup the second time around. I was just like, whoa, this is pretty cool. And even the image underneath with the cat sitting on a branch transferred as well. I was just like so excited about this. So I'm going in with my lint roller here and I'm just removing the parts of the image that I don't want to transfer. And um, on this part, I'm focusing on the paw prints, so I'm gonna go ahead and press that image onto the nail right next to the other paw prints, because this is kind of the image that I'm going for on the nail, on the actual nail for my set. So I do one, it looks pretty good. Then I go in and do the other, it looks pretty good. And I try to transfer the cat as well, just for kicks and giggles, and y'all, I'm impressed. It actually transferred, like I'm actually stamping y'all. This is crazy. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna leave in the original audio from how good this transferred because I was super excited about this, y'all. I think I like this. I like that, yeah, that, I ain't gonna lie. For my first time ever stamping, that did not turn out bad at all. Wow. That's easier than I thought. And these, these, these regular polishes are pretty good to use for stamping, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Now I'm tempted to try a whole nother nail. Oh my gosh. See. I'm not even gonna lie. I had to take an intermission while I was practicing this stamping. It actually was a lot easier than I thought it was. So I'm gonna go through and just play around and practice with some of my other stamping plates. Cause this is a lot of fun. Like I didn't even know. So look y'all, I know I'm in the middle of filming this video um, for this Alice in Wonderland set, but baby, I just discovered stamping and it ain't half bad. So y'all, this is the nail I just showed y'all I did, right? This my, this my first time stamping and it turned out decent. So I'm not gonna lie, I went and I pulled out some more of my other stamping plates y'all. 
I know I'm in the middle of doing this set right, but I just found a new love. So I'm gonna have to take an intermission from this Alice in Wonderland set, and I'm gonna play around with some stamping, y'all. Like I'm a little stand ready. I'm gonna play around with some stamping. So just don't mind me. I'm gonna just play around real quick, and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all, intermission over. This is completely unrelated to the video, but I had a ton of fun stamping. I played around off camera for about an hour or so, and y'all, I loved it. So now it's time to stamp my actual nail. Um, I think I got it figured out, you guys. So first you're gonna go in with like a glob of the uh, nail polish, and you wanna apply a generous amount to the stamping plate. You do a quick swipe down, and then you'll take your stamper, roll over the image, and it picks up nice and clean. Um, now what I learned with the regular polish is it's okay to kind of take your time and let it air dry um, on the jelly stamper. So here I'm just taking the lint roller, just cleaning off um, any of the extra images that I really don't want to transfer onto the nail. I'm looking at the two paws and I'm noticing that the one on the left didn't transfer all that well either. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that one from the jelly stamper as well. I am gonna go ahead and get things lined up. Um, I'm kind of showing how I want the paws to go on the fingernail. And once I have it lined up properly, I go ahead and do a stamp. Um, I just press down and pull up. I don't actually roll the image on. Um, I did miss that footage, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all that one more time. So I'm gonna take some acetone, clean out my stamping plate. I'm gonna take another glob of that polish and just add it onto both of the paw prints. I'm gonna take my scraper and do one quick scrape straight down at an angle. And then I wanna take my jelly stamper, again, quick roll, and then the image picks up again beautifully. I removed what I didn't want from the jelly stamper with the lint roller and now I just press down, pull up, and it transferred again beautifully. So I'm gonna show you all one more time. I'm gonna clean with acetone, clean off the stamping plate, add a glob of polish onto the actual plate itself. I'm gonna uh, swipe straight down really quick. Go ahead and roll the jelly stamper over the image. Picks up nice and clean. I'm gonna take my lint roller, roll off the excess of what I don't want to transfer onto the nail. Um, with this part, you guys, I did find that um, since it's regular polish, letting it sit and dry on the stamper for about maybe 15, 20 seconds actually helped it to have a better transfer. So um, if you're working with regular polishes, um, you kind of have a little bit more of flexibility, a little bit more leeway time. Um, and so here I'm going to go ahead and try to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it one more time. And here I'm showing, I don't actually roll the jelly stamper onto the nail, I actually stamp it straight up and down. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. And then again, I'm trying to line it up. Um, I was having a very difficult time seeing the image being transferred with this particular jelly stamper because it's, the barrel of it was so long. Um, but I'll show you all here in a second what I did. But this happened. No! one of the paws from the paw print didn't actually transfer. So I'm going back in trying to fix this really quick by pressing the jelly stamper on again. And I realized I can't see what I'm doing. So I end up just taking the jelly stamper out of the um, holder, I, so I suppose, and trying to get that last little paw to transfer onto the jelly stamper. And I pressed down again, it didn't transfer. Um, and then I pressed down a third time and I just kind of wiggled it on there and that helped it transfer. It, it got off successfully. I was super happy that I did not have to go in and try to redo this. And so yeah, I was super excited about that. I had to celebrate my little victory. I'm also gonna go in and insert a picture from the movie of the paw prints going towards Alice in the forest. This is the scene from the movie that I'm attempting to replicate on the nail. So here you can see, I just applied the polish. I did the quick swipe down, picked up with the jelly stamper, removed what I didn't want from the nail. And here, because I removed the jelly stamper from the handle, I was able to see where I was press pressing and applying the uh, stamp a lot easier. So I definitely like that method better. So yeah, after waiting those 15 seconds, you press down and you get a clean transfer. And I was really enjoying this stamping. So I actually kept a lot of this in in real time because I wanted to show you all um, what it looked like and how fast I was moving from the time that I put the regular polish down to the time that I picked the image up to the time that I actually stamped it. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna demo this one more time and then I'm gonna move on to the next nail.
All right, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm gonna go in with the index finger and actually draw the face of the Cheshire Cat. I was so excited. Those little palettes you just saw just came in from Amazon right when I was finishing up this set. So I was excited to have that for easier access to my nail paints while doing my nail art. Um, I also got some nail art brushes, which I'll show here shortly. But yeah, this made my life a lot easier when I was trying to do the nail art for this set. And I'm also gonna insert a picture of the Cheshire Cat um, face from the movie. And this is what I'm using as my guide as I'm drawing and doing the artwork for his face. So I did go in with two coats of the polishes for both of these colors here just to build the opacity a little bit. Now I'm going in with Just a Flirt from Nail Addict and Pivot from Madame Glam. And I'm going to be making a custom yellow for the eyes of the Cheshire Cat. Um, I wanted the eyes to be just a little kind of grayish, yellowish. Um, I'll insert a picture here of the look I was going for. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and drew the eyes of the cat. Now I'm going to go in and draw the mouth of the Cheshire Cat. I left this part in real time because I was actually shocked that I was able to outline the mouth on one try. So I drew the top of the mouth and then I drew the bottom of the mouth and it turned out perfect you guys. So after I finished drawing the outline I do go in and fill that color in and I'm using the his color from Young Nails. I've really been enjoying using my Mission Control paints um, when I've been doing any type of nail art. So yeah this is how the cat is looking thus far. Now I'm going to go in and draw the nose. So at this point I have no idea what color I'm mixing and using at this point but I do go in with this pink from Beatles and I mix it with this purple that's on this piece of plastic and that's what I'm going to be using for the nose. Um, I didn't need much of it so now I'm just finishing up the detailing on the cat's face. Um, I'm going in and I'm drawing the dots for the nose, drawing the whiskers, uh, filling in the eyes, etc. That's how the cat is looking so far. I decided to go ahead and draw the body, um, kind of like the cat is kind of coming into that nail. So I went in with the Mega Jam from Young Nails and drew his body and then also added some stripes onto him. And yeah, y'all, this was actually my first time drawing a character in a set as well as stamping. So I've never actually had to recreate um, like an image of a character or a cartoon. So that was really a lot of fun to do. This is how the Cheshire Cat is looking. So yeah, y'all, how did I do? So now I'm going in with the tail on the ring finger, just trying to recreate how it looks. And I'm gonna insert a picture of what I used as my guide for this nail. So this is how the set is looking so far. I'm liking how everything is looking except for that middle finger. So I'm thinking I might change that later. But first I decided to go in and do the thumb. So I'll be using this Neon Luminous Gel from Born Pretty to create the eyes. So with the thumb I decided to draw the Cheshire's cat face um, as it was shown in the dark in the movie. So I'm gonna insert a picture of what that looks like as well. But that's what I'm recreating on the thumbnail here. So yeah, yeah, I feel like as I was doing this set, I felt like how I felt during watching the movie, which was weird and a little bit off. Like there was just so many just like weird things happening while I was doing my nails or doing this particular set. Like one, the doorbell rang and when I went to go and check it, no one was there. And I'm like, okay. And then like my printer started making noises as if it was going to print something and it never did. Um, I even at one point took a break during doing this set. I lost a nail. It got washed down the drain while I was showering. That never happens. It was just like a lot of weird and strange things happening doing this set. And I was just like, man, this is kind of like how I felt while I was watching the movie. Everything was just off and a little trippy. So here I decided to add in a phrase that was said during the movie. And y'all, I was in luck. My chicken scratch handwriting came in handy because these letters didn't have to be perfect, which I was super excited about. So yeah, I went ahead and um, drew the phrase, we're all mad here from the movie. And 
yeah overall I had a lot of fun making this set so make sure you all come back next week it's our final week um, and we're going to be doing a completely different thing. If you all missed week one, um, we did Pac-Man nails. And if you all missed week two, we did uh, tattoo nails. This week we're doing Alice in Wonderland. Um, so yeah, make sure you come back for the final week to see what our last design is. I did go in and switch out the middle finger. I do feel like it fit in better with the set. I tried a matte top coat on this set and wasn't really feeling it. Y'all know I'm extra. Let's get All into this right final look. You guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes. All right. Alice in Wonderland. Let's go. All right, y'all. The Cheshire Cat is in the building. Okay. So um, yeah, I hope you all can see what I was trying to create, the vision that I had in my head here. So we have the Cheshire Cat. His body is kind of going across all three of the nails here. And then these are the footprints. Um, that's from that image that I showed you all earlier in the video, but the footprints when he was walking towards Alice. And then when he was disappearing with the face, these are the cool spooky eyes. And y'all, guess what this second? Yes, y'all, it glows in the dark. I can't really get it because it's like the daytime, but I'll capture a better picture. But y'all, these eyes, they glow in the dark. But yeah, it's the daytime, so I couldn't really capture the glow the way that I wanted to. So I'm gonna insert a picture at the end, of course, so y'all can see how these eyes glow. But yeah, y'all, I had a lot of fun doing this set. This set was interesting. I feel like doing this set felt the same way as when I was watching the movie. It just felt a little strange, weird, off. <laughs> but um, I got it done and I'm happy with the um, finished result. And um, again, um, I did do a little bit of writing on the nail. So the we're all mad here, that's a phrase that the cat says or whatnot in the movie. So yeah, y'all, we, we did it. Week three is in the bucket, okay? This right here was my sketch here. This was kind of my little theme. So it shows the cat face, the body, the tail, paws, and um, the little glowy faces here. So it all came to life pretty well, so I'm pretty happy with that. I am happy that I went back and took this nail out because I really do not feel like it would have matched with the set, you know? it. I feel like this definitely looks a little bit more cohesive. And then also, I forgot to mention that the reason I chose stiletto tips is because, you know, cat claws. Hey now, hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna show you all my practice that I did here off camera. Um, so this was me practicing with the, the cat face that was glowing in the dark or whatnot. This is me playing around with the different shades of purple for the Cheshire Cat. So that was pretty cool. And y'all look at this. This is my stamping. Y'all, when I say I had so much fun with stamping, I definitely have to implement this into more of my looks. And then I also need to get more stamping plates because I honestly, I think I only have like five or six of them. So I've been sleep on stamping y'all. It was a lot easier than I had anticipated. And I was even able to create this little image. This has nothing to do with the set right now, but I'm just kind of impressed at this. So I'm gonna be making a stamping tutorial video soon. It was crazy I was able to do my stamping just using regular nail polish from the local Dollar Tree. So yeah, I'll definitely have to make a video about that for you guys. So yeah, y'all, this was the nail where I actually did the stamping on. I used my little cat stamping plate here with my regular polishes. You all saw me do that and to be honest with you it really wasn't that much of a challenge to me I really thought that it was going to be a lot harder to stamp and actually I caught on to it pretty fast even just using regular polishes so what ended up being more of a challenge to me was just trying to think of like the overall design for this set because um, I was really lost um, you know like I had mentioned earlier I had never actually watched the Alice in Wonderland video so I wasn't really sure what direction to take it in and so as I was watching the movie the only thing that jumped out at me for inspiration was the Cheshire Cat so that's why I chose to do it um, and I thought it would be a cool way to tie in my stamping place with the paws but yeah I, I really like stamping it's very very easy so I'll be looking forward to implementing that into more of my sets so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this look and let me know what you think down in the comments okay I'm into the set. I'm into the look. Let me know what you think. Alice in Wonderland, let's go. So yeah, I had a lot of fun working with my teammates on this theme and, and definitely go and check out the other participants. I'll leave all their information linked down in the description box below.
I hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday videos where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.